Today's video is all about our engine control console. The console where you can operate and monitor all the machineries inside your engine room. So come and join me for this new learning. So I have decided to give you an engine control console familiarization. So let's start with our power management system. This is the area where you can operate your generators. In just a simple push button, then this big diesel generator engine will start to run and can be put on load. You can also operate here which one is your priority and which one you will put on standby. It is almost the same as your synchro panel in your main switchboard. The only difference is that you can only do automatic operation in the console. So it's just the same as your power management system where you can also operate your VCBs, ACBs, and your reefer transformers. For other vessels, these controls may find in your control and alarm monitoring system. Speaking about the alarm and monitoring system, this vessel is using the Teresaki. From the word itself, control, alarm, and monitoring system, it only means that you can control and monitor all the essential machineries you may find in your engine room. Alarms and controls for your main engine. Controls for your different pumps. Controlling the operation of your boiler. Level monitoring of your sewage treatment plant. pressures and temperatures monitoring status of your generators. And some vital and critical equipment located in your engine room. You may also find in the console the water level and pressure level of your boiler. As you may all know, 
Boiler is an equipment mainly used for heating. Then there is also this rudder angle indicator. And an indication which steering gear motor is running. The steering gear motors which needs to be switched over every day. And then there is this alarm printer lug which I just changed the paper. Deadman alarm system is also included in the engine control console. The system that is very important for the duty engineers during the night watch. Then you have the patrol call and emergency call button. The torsion meter monitoring for your main engine. Which includes the speed, power, and torque of the main engine shaft. The main control for extension alarm system, which can also be found in every engineer's cabin, ship's office, gymnasium, or other common areas. Main air compressor control, where you can start and stop or even choose which one to be prioritized. Controls for the auxiliary blower. Indicating lights for the turning gear that lets you know if it is engaged or disengaged. And what type of fuel being used in your main engine then of course the engine telegraph and very important gauges for your main engine monitoring system then an individual fuel oil viscosity control panel for the main engine and for the generators which the sensors can be found in the purifier area. Then the control for the fuel tank valves. Which includes the tank level gauges too. Which as an electrician, you need to ensure that all indicating lights are working too. For our next video, we will be talking about the bridge control console and familiarization of some navigational equipment. I hope you learned something from this and please do not forget to 
like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.